What is up, you gargantuan globulous cocks that fucking jizz goddamn curdled milk? I'm stud, and that's fucking nasty. That is fucking gross. Go to the goddamn doctor. Please. Ugh. Imagine a woman giving you head and you're going to fucking spit some nasty spoiled curdled milk in her mouth from your dick. Anyways, motherfuckers, it's a McStud show. A motherfucking tasty beverage for that ass. I'm going to gargle it in your mother's ass. And then she's going to swallow my balls. Mmm. God damn. That doesn't make a fucking hillbilly these nipples hard. I don't know what will. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great Monday. Most people don't have great Mondays. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's Monday. I'm tired already. Fuck yeah. That's fucking awesome. Um, shit. It's fucking cold here. Like the wind chill's like 29. And now it's raining and it's supposed to like potentially snow a little bit. Nothing big. Just, you know, some flurries, I guess. Flurries, yeah, I, I, I give you some fucking cock flurries, you motherfucking weather. I fucking hate it. God damn it, it's cold to fucking sit outside and smoke. Well, as McStead, maybe you shouldn't smoke. Well, maybe you should shut the fuck up, you dirty cunts. Probably shouldn't watch fucking Survivor every fucking night either. You rotten bastards. Anyways. Uh, oh, I've missed you guys. It's been a long time. Maybe 24 hours. It's been a long time, though. Um, I had this, uh, let me sit back. I had another idea for you motherfuckers. There. I, I was thinking earlier about some shit that, like, uh, perverted motherfuckers would do. And I'm kind of on a level, like, the panty sniffers and shit like that. Or the creepy fucks that want to, like, peeping toms. Uh, something. Uh, yeah. For you sick pervs out there. I'm going to call these things queef barrels. It's essentially like a fucking pony keg of queef air collected by, uh, well, I'm not sure how the queef air will be collected yet. But just think of it as like a portable oxygen tank, but it's twat air. And when you sick perverted fucks are feeling frisky, you put your little snatch mask on and breathe in all that pussy fart air until you get your fix. Now what you do while you're breathing that air in is up to you. I really don't give a fuck. If you want to spank your meat shank, then go right ahead. Breathe it in while watching midget wrestling. Fuck yeah. Hell, for all I care, you can breathe that shit in while you fuck a ham sandwich. Put your own mayonnaise in the motherfucking bitch. Just be sure to get your queef barrel and make sure to say McStud sent you. I don't know where they'll be sold at yet, but when they do, I will let you know. Fuckers. And you know what else really scares my motherfucking Peter? Motherfuckers going to check out, like, checking out to buy something, and usually at gas stations, and they want to sit there and fucking talk while there are four of us behind you, you rotten son of a bitch, waiting to get somewhere, and you want to have a fucking conversation about the mushrooms growing on your goddamn panties or some shit. Look, you raggedy bitch, I get that you and the cashier know each other, but the time to shoot the shit is not right now. Uh, do it after you fucking paid for your shit. Jesus Christ, and... You're just fucking standing there talking and bullshit and no one else can fucking pay for their shit. Here's an idea. Move to the fucking side. And let someone else come up there and pay. Y'all can fucking run your cocksuckers all you want. You know, you guys can talk about how your husband's dick looks like a soggy biscuit. Fuck it. But if you're blocking the rest of us for paying for our things, especially if someone may be on a fucking schedule, take that fucking smart water and go wash your dirty fucking pussy with it or something in the motherfucking bathroom and get the fuck out of our way. I don't go to the fucking doctor's office and sit in there and have a conversation about the sexually active homeless fucks squatting in my fucking basement and extend the amount of time you sit in the fucking waiting room, do I? No, I don't. Fuck no. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my way. Or stay the fuck home and fish your stinky fucking slop hole, you stupid bitch. Sorry. When I said it scabbed my Peter, it really scabbed my Peter. <clears throat> oh, damn it. You know, uh, speaking of cashiers, this is typically women I experience this with. Why do these bitches have to be having the worst day of their fucking lives every time you encounter them when they're at work? 
Like, I get jobs aren't that fun and shit. It sucks to have to work, you know. I I really hated not being able to work. Now, you know, I'm back to work, but, you, you know, you, it's like, some people enjoy their jobs. Some people's like, yeah, I just want to get through the fucking day. But, I mean, Jesus Christ, do these bitches enjoy being unfucking happy? Would it kill a motherfucker to smile every once in a while? You know, I don't, I don't want to hear about how horrible your fucking day is. Really, I don't come in there to fucking hear that shit. I'm not a fucking counselor. You can deal with that shit after work. Um, but here's an idea. Keep your depressing shit to yourself so you get off work and go to bitch to someone who gives a fuck. Because I really don't. I just want to pay for some shit. And I'm sorry you're having a bad fucking day. I just want a motherfucking donut. I don't need your crabby ass bitching to me. And I ask how you're doing, you want to say, I've been better. Bitch, we've all been fucking better. Especially at a motherfucking job. No fucking shit you've been better. I was better off shoving a motherfucking turd back in my ass when I was at home before I came here to hear you fucking bitch about how fucking horrible your fucking life is day to day. Fucking find some positivity, you goddamn crabby ass raggedy fucking cunt hair. Jesus Christ. You're in a fucking... You're... you're, you're, you're you're, you're an employee of a fucking place. You're customer service. You encounter customers. <clears throat> I fake the motherfucking smile. I don't give a shit. You ain't got to put up with no one's shit, but Jesus Christ, don't make it out like you're just fucking completely fucking miserable and you rather stick a goddamn nail on your fucking eyeball. Fuck. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, motherfuckers, that's all I got. We're about seven minutes in. I did not mean for this to go this long, but fuck it. That's all right. I'm going to jump off here, motherfuckers. Got Monday Night Football coming on. I'm McStud, and I'll catch you bitches later. Deuces. Hey.